Thanks for staying with us. So, as the Super Eagles of Nigeria gear up for the semi-final battle with the Bafana Bafana team of South Africa, our sports correspondent Ade Yeni Ade Yemo is currently in Ivory Coast and will be uh, giving us some live updates from the Super Eagles camp as they wrap up preparations for Wednesday's football match. However, uh, while we're also trying to get in touch with uh, Ade Yeni, um, the information we got from the, an advisory, the High Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that's the advisory on safe conduct for Nigerians in South Africa before, during, and after the 2024 African match between Super Eagles and Bafana Bafana. So uh, there was a letter uh, written out to Nigerians. It says that uh, the Nigerian High Commission in Pretoria has been drawn to potentially inflammatory online comments made by section of the South African citizens against Nigerians, especially because towards the, the, the match, tomorrow's match. Hmm. Uh, according to them, most of the comments consist of veiled threats against Nigerians cooking jollof rice before the match and showing pepper to Nigerians if the Bafana Bafana lose the match tomorrow. So they're just asking Nigerians to stay out of crowded areas. If you're in South Africa, um, they're your hosts, so... Um, be careful what you say in, in engaging conversations concerning the, the match. But this is quite worrisome yeah, for the Nigerian Commission itself to actually write officially to Nigerians. So you can't say you do not hear. They have told you to stay safe. Um, we know there's excitement in the air, there's competition, but why does competition all have to learn in end this way of violence, anger, aggression? You know, people hmm. having these kind of issues. Why must it end this way history. all the time? Is that history? History. Hmm. That have happened before. You know, I did not even know the word xenophobia existed until it happened. So I have mashed it in my memory. Imagine me now having a chance going to the stadium to watch a Nigerian South African match in South Africa. I'll be telling that child, Jack Orifay. You remember the other day, the other day, the other day, the way our grandfather used to say, we don't even marry from some people, some tribes, just because of one experience. That's why I'll be advising the child. Put your, if I dare, L'Oreal, put your eyes down. Let your head correct and all of those things. That's the only thing I think Nigerians are afraid of because, you know, even their governments cannot sit on top of their emotions when these things happen. My own government yeah. is not my own emotions. Uh, no, yes. ah, have you ever government. heard Nigerians yes. after a match beat any, beat any, any country? Nationa, and, you know, there were history, but it have happened that we were beating other African countries. People were called Nigerians. Pictures looked gory. Okay. And it happened for weeks and it could have been handled by government. Let me pause our conversation because I'm told our correspondent is ready for us on Ivory Coast. Good morning, Mr. Adeyani. Are you there? Good morning, Moriah. Good morning, Moriah. Yeah, so good to hear from you. So how is it coming? <laughs> it's so happy. It, it's been wonderful. It, um, it's business as usual. Um, it's calm, it's cool here. Yeah. It's just past nine this morning. And um, everything is going on smoothly. All right, so have you seen the Super Eagles at all since you've got there? Or are you seeing yeah, them today? Yeah, they had their train. Yeah, no, no, not today. They traveled um, last night after dinner, but they had a training session on um, Monday. Um, it's a behind closed door training session, but we're able to interact with them. And um, they are high on confidence. They are, they are looking forward to the game on Wednesday in Guaki. They traveled, they departed 10 p.m. after dinner last night. Um, it's uh, 45 minutes from Abidjan to Guaki. So they are ready in Guaki. They will be having a press conference 11 a.m. this morning. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be having um, the coach, Joseph Pissero, and um, Kelechi Anacho at the press conference this morning in Boaki. But Simi is a doubt, or Simi didn't travel with them last night. He has an abdominal medical issue. Mm -hmm. So uh, the medical team are with him in Abidjan here, and hoping he recovers, then he can fly down to Abidjan later today. Do you have an idea what the press briefing is about later on at 11 o'clock? Do you have an idea? Yeah, the press briefing is about the upcoming game on Wednesday. Um, hopefully, tactics to be to, to be used. Um, if he's going to change his formation from his usual 3-4-3 formation or 4-3-3 formation, because Victor Simeon is in doubt at the moment. So if wow. Victor Simeon is in doubt at the moment, then of course, the formation can be reshuffled. Formation can be reshuffled. So the press conference is more about players who are eligible to play or players who are in doubt. Okay. Okay, but for, for those of us at home, you know, uh, we know that our country is going to meet with, we we'll call them our nemesis, our arch rivals. And we're wondering what the atmosphere is like. Is it hospitable? Is it exciting? Or are there any concerns about how it may turn out? Um, 
um, the Ivorians have been accommodating. Um, there's no hostile situation here. To be very honest with you, good road networks, good infrastructure, mm. 24 hours left. Hey. So it, it has been lovely with them. That's 24 shade. hours left. I think this is the, this is the, this is the first time. Are you shading Nigeria? This is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the first time. this is the first time. I must say, this is the first time in my life I will enjoy 24 hours like ah. <laughs> um, I am not scared. I'm not scared for my battery to run down. I'm not <laughs> Mr. I reporter, like so. yeah, when yeah, Nigerian no. colors are you shading us? <laughs> <laughs> in terms of security, in terms of security, it's been on point. 24/7. Okay. They even give us a card. If we have any issue, we should call on those numbers. They will answer okay. us okay. immediately. So well. okay, good. Wow. So it is quite different. It is quite different here from back home. Yeah, ah, Mr. I don't think he's coming you. back home. <laughs> <laughs> immigration will not open up for you. Coming I mean, back home. Yeah. Immigration will not open up for you. Hmm. Be, be sharing Nigeria. Yeah, I'm not sharing Nigeria. Yeah, no, I'm not sharing Nigeria. 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 I'm not sharing Nig
He will keep out for South yeah. Africa to God should weaken him in any way. So we have two key prayer points that we get from this. Yes, this, 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 this two, <laughs> these two key prayer points so that between today and tomorrow, God, God should restore Victor Sime and God should weaken that, 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 that wow. keeper. This is our God, eh? Two, so yeah. that is fantastic. That should be the biggest prayer point. Because yes, point yes. yes. I've, I've said it on TV so people can go straight to the, go the, mountain. <laughs> the mountain. Thank you very much, Yeni, for joining us. This morning, but um, yeah. So it's good to just hear from. Uh, All right, thank, 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 thank you very much, Messi, yeah. Messi. Thank you. Oh, oh wow, you're yes, speaking yes, French now. Yeah. Yeah. I want you. <laughs> this guy is also not Nigerian. Nigerian. He's very, he's very, he's very, very not Nigerian. Nigerian. The guy has not finished Nigerian. Yeah, I'm telling you. Thank you. Uh -uh. He's nice not outside the East Coast. Oh wow, oh wow. This one, this one next, please. Thank you. You're back. Let's go on a short break. This guy is not coming back to me. He just knows his passport. We have 24 hours of like, security we had. But is this in the background of the picture? Where hey, it's still Nigeria. Nigeria now. Calm down. Calm down. Please. Calm down. It's still they, Africa. We will have to go to some interior villages to be shooting from that kind of place. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Just no, no, no. our yeah, brothers. Just, just, just the yeah, influence yeah, of the Nigeria yeah, that is from. They are happy for their power solution. No, see, I'm happy now. They don't have a population. We don't have to compare ourselves to America. And we can compare it to Cote d'Ivoire. They don't have a population. In Cote d'Ivoire, 24 hours live. How many there be? How many? How many? No excuse. There's no excuse. We're talking about the match tomorrow, um, Super Eagles and Bafana Bafana of South Africa. And we are this, we're referencing the letter that was written to Nigerians living in South Africa to be very careful because of all the threats and vile comments that has been um, on social media in, the, in that region. So um, the commission has asked Nigerians to stay out of trouble. Um, maybe they advise them to watch the match in their homes and not at beer parlors. Don't engage in conversations with people, regardless of what happens. Either they win or we lose, or we win and they lose. Either way, just don't engage anybody in that conversation. What are your thoughts on this uh, warning? Wisdom. It's profitable to wisdom. Direct. Wisdom. Wisdom is profitable to direct. I think that when you find yourself in a situation where it's not your territory, it is important. They say when chicken reach place where no no you go raise one leg up because you are also leg. watching what is going on. So um, football evokes emotions and it is important that we understand that just as passionate as you are so also is um, the South Africans are equally passionate and they have history like Nima reminded us of acting out that that um, passion, passion mm -hmm. against fellow Ni fellow Africans let me put it that way so it is wisdom for Nigerians to gather in their small areas without publicly announcing, oh, we're going to be doing our Nigerian jollof and football. Because you see, I, I saw some online, we're going to gather here and do Nigerian jollof and football. We're going to smash Bafana Bafana inside which country? You're not in your country. Mm. So it, um, I think I'm, I'm happy that we are having this letter come out ahead. And people should not brag or be gloat. gloat or whatever, because you don't even know how the match would go. We're praying that we win. But whatever happens, keep your keep keep a low profile because you are not in your territory, you are not in your country. You are in another person's country, and you should respect them. It, it's just normal. Yeah. Respect the country where you are if you want to continue to enjoy the benefits of that place. Okay, so on the one hand, I would say it's good advice to give Nigerians so that you protect yourself, you know, and don't find yourself so that you don't get caught up in mm -hmm. any violence that may erupt. But it's also quite a shame, to South Africa, really, that you would not allow your co. Africans to enjoy the football. Yeah, victory. If to enjoy their victory, imagine if South Africa wins that vuvuzela sound. You know how they uh -uh. are. Wherever they are in the world, they will deafen you with that, and you will appreciate it, and then you know, and be part of it, and dance with them. But now you want to stop Nigerians from expressing their happiness. I think it's a shameful thing. But we know them, as you said, xenophobia. They always call South Africa. But I hope that they use this opportunity to rethink and relearn. A lot of violence will happen on social media. I don't go to come on social media, trace the people that will be saying things, and trace them home. Hey. To Nigeria, because hey. if the ones in South Africa are not able to express themselves, Nigerians will express themselves. And it just also sends the wrong message, because when people, in the beginning, it will be, you know, we're going to celebrate this mm. victory, or we're going to celebrate this loss, or however it is. Now, you're going to make people think of this match with this behind their minds. Mm. So you've taken out the joy already. I think it's good that we have won Nigerians, but I think South Africa needs to really Do talk better. to you themselves about how they carry how they carry on especially against nigerians but even as africans let's even leave south africa or nigeria out of this like yeah africans in general shouldn't we be responsible in our celebrations 
because we all do it. Even Nigerians do it. We, we they can get really violent on social media. I mean, when we are when we are celebrating ourselves, we are to are united. But when there's something else, the way the 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 vitriol that comes out of Nigerians, the kind of things they say, the kind of words they use. So it's not just South African thing, but I think uh, we as Let's Africans dash. should also have some kind of sense of responsibility. Uh, you see, the South African Vuzela is what I know about their loudness. But Nigerians, even in support, if, have you seen the Africa uh, with the 1994 World Cup? I remember oh, clearly. Yeah. I met the supporters club mm -hmm. training. That was when I knew Nigerians, how vibrant we can be. Mm -hmm. we, we, they had all the choruses from every region. Mm -hmm. They were loud dancing and they, would, they do their own training as their boys are training on the pitch. You now say that when they win, they should it's not volume. Yeah. Ah. You off volume in your country. You on volume in your country, country. and off volume where it's not safe. No, yeah, country. I, 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 wherever I you win, win said, it's like the Olympics. With... No, let me finish. Wherever you win, celebrate the way you celebrate in your country yes, yes. this is also culture because those people don't go there in the in the clothes of those people they come in nigerian outfits i saw them you know mm -hmm. i would like to see them again as an adult they come in their full nigerian so also. imagine that the nigerians now they now left all the boys to just it will be a doll in fact they will be misrepresenting the country no 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 no, no. we in, cannot we, we need to learn tolerance wear your clothes you're yes. saying in south africa if nigeria was hosting any world cup and another country won would we tell them to off celebration because nigeria because we are scared mm -hmm. we know that the evil here is that you know some people get too emotional in in, in loss of victory <laughs> and you know do worse things we cannot now say the other person you know, just disappear from it yes it's, it's wisdom it's wise advice yeah. but that other person, she wants to be talking to the bully. We need question. to be talking to let the me take, intolerant one. Let me talk this call. Um, Shala, you're live. Thanks for calling. Morning, morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Uh, please, Muraya, I don't know if I will be permitted. I, want, I just want to make mention of uh, one of the stories you took during the uh, newspaper review. Okay. This uh, Theophilus uh, Boy Foundation. Yeah. You see, that story is genuine. Very, very genuine. I am one of his victims that fall victim of that, uh, that man. Hmm. I remember some time ago last year, I wanted to get in touch with you through Tokwe. I think she misunderstood me then. I wanted to get your contact because we wanted to bring the agitation against this man on your program, not for free. Actually, we wanted to pay for it, but she misunderstood me that time. I couldn't get through with you. You see, that man, car is a big fraudster. So many churches have collapsed because of this man. So many marriages are broken. So oh. the, the, the oh, show is not for bringing issues against individuals. You can't do that here. That was why I told him. You can't. The process is to get to EFCC. Now that EFCC has formalized the case against him, when he gets to the news, we can talk about it. Yes. Is there a platform for reporting yes. anybody that defrauds you? Yeah, can we, can, we, can, we, can, we can get sued, just mm. in case the it's allegations are frivolous. Mm. Yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah, so we're continuing the conversation. Well, we're going to be wrapping yeah. up very soon, but I think, really, the, the thing is Nigerians living in South Africa, as much as Nima believes that you should celebrate, mm. but do so within your, within your neighborhood or within yes. your house. Do the cultural it's, celebration. It's, it's like when you go to... You, if you are living in Middle Eastern countries and you know that people, people private citizens that are not Muslims still drink their, yeah. their alcohol or whatever, but well, you will not go outside during fasting no, no. during the day. Yeah. In the fasting you period in an Is Islam Islam country, you will now eat food openly during the day. This you know you Islam. don't do that. No, they will not get violent, they will arrest you. This place, they will get violent. Mm -mm, so no, no, don't no. we do we don't they do apples and oranges the... here. This is not the same thing. We are mm. talking about football. And the reason why it is specifically South Africa is because South Africa is known to have such violent tendencies, especially towards Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Let's not make it all an African issue or a football issue. It's because they are afraid that in South Africa, they may look for any reason to it's attack fast, Nigerians. Attack. You may say, okay, they should not celebrate, but they may go somewhere because they are wearing Nigerian colors, get in hey, trouble. Really? So I'm hoping that the South African hey. government is also paying attention to protect Nigerians mm -hmm. who will be going about their normal duties, watching their football and acting normally as any football Especially fan would. So I'm expecting um, South African tourists. government will protect Nigerians protect. as well. Sorry, yeah. especially because uh, South Africans like to pride on their tourism sector. Yeah. This is the more reason you must learn to tolerate other people. Yeah. You can't be taking money for tourism and be intolerant of the people coming to your country. Some people are just, you know, there maybe for a holiday and watching the match. 
and wearing their, uh, their jerseys because they wear them to watch the match in Nigeria. Yeah. Someone in South Africa says, truly, there's no 100% bad anywhere in the world. But the situation is like sitting on a gunpowder. It can get volatile at the slightest provocation. So, yes, first thing we'll still tell you, Pekim, to so make sure no and firm when you're in South Africa. And so right, let me... The reality, my dear sister, is that uh, that's the reality. Sometimes some people will deny the reality of what confronts migrants here. But trust me, I will tell you that we work on eggshells. We don't them. talk about it, that. especially while you're still here. Things can escalate easily. Those are not positive feedbacks. Let me get a call Africa. from George. He's been holding. Good morning, George. You're live. Good morning, Morayo, and good morning to all the ladies. Good morning. Yes, yes if you ask me, Morayo, that uh, letter, that letter that uh, the government wrote was a diplomatic error. You can't tell a man how to express himself when he's happy. This issue of xenophobia by South Africans, it didn't start today. It's been there. And what the government has done by writing that letter is to intimidate its own citizens. Supposing South Africa wins that much, are you going to tell the South Africans living in, in Nigeria not to celebrate in the South African way? There's no way you can do that. If, if, I, if the government should actually pull its weight by putting South Africa where they belong, you oh. can't intimidate my <laughs> citizens. Why, why you have your own citizens in my country? And now I'm advising my citizens, please, limit your happiness. It's not naturally possible. Mr. Okay. George, let me just Thank you, say, Mr. George. Yes, yeah, so Mr. George, so I understand the sentiment, but it is wise and it's, it's important that the um, Nigerian government is doing that. What I would expect is a response from the South African government assuring, assuring us of our safety while in South Africa to enjoy, our, you know, to enjoy football. So that is what we should be expecting from South Africa here in Nigeria too, whoever their um, commission... Um, what do you yes. call them? Yeah. The ambassadors. I hope that we're having a conversation with them today concerning our concerns about Nigerians in South Africa towards the match that's going to happen tomorrow. So those are the sort of conversations I see that will come from them. But on our own side, Nigeria, we have to do what we can. And in this case, that's the best that we can do yeah. to protect them. Yeah, South Africa needs to show us that, you know, we're not in this alone and that they are there to protect us as well. I think the Nigerian oh, right, government yeah, was also very proactive in sending yes, this letter. So America that's... does it a lot. I mean, uh, when we, every time. they will send um, those uh, memos to their, um, to their yeah. citizens and say, okay, don't go to this part of Nigeria, don't go to this part of Nigeria. Whether we agree or not, they have to do that. And then you hear the Nigerian government say, we, they have nothing to be scared yeah. of or nothing to yeah. fear. Yes, I agree that, right. you know. But Nigerians, just because, you know, the advisory is there, but the advisory will not be following you around in South Africa. You know, use your tongue to count your teeth. They have a history. That's all. I'm counting my teeth already. <laughs> <laughs> because me, I don't understand that problem. No, no, but, uh, like being aware. Hey, you, you say, just so say be aware. Somebody is sitting ah, down. Yeah, I will not have because you speak I'm just proverbs. saying, though. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> Auntie, I'm, count your teeth, your tongue. I'm, I'm good Look for the around Nigerian consular. Be at a lot. Not all of us understand, so explain to us. I have broken it down. I'm grateful for the Nigerian consular. I am happy that some Nigerians feel like, no, you cannot tell us how to behave. Inside which country? In your own country, you can behave anyhow. In your own house. It is in your own house you can eat You can eat anything you want to eat. But when you are in another country, under another person's economy, enjoying the largest of their being open to you, you would also respect yourself. And we're hoping that at some point in time, they will learn the lesson Mariam is telling them to learn. I'd really need to take this mm, one. Go ahead. Don't be deceived, sis. When trouble brews, they see it as South Africans attack Nigerians. Law enforcement agents walk away. Mm. Government has turned a blind eye to the aftermath of the love-hate relationship, more passive than you'd expect. Mm. So now we want to hear clearly from the government what they are issuing to their people as against anybody found carrying out any or any attack yeah. in the name of any guys or anything. Yeah. Okay. I want to see what they will do. I think that's all we can take. Okay. Wishing uh, the Super Eagles the best tomorrow. And uh, we've taken out two prayer points so that we'll be okay for tomorrow's <laughs> match. Oh, please. Just a reminder, Victor Sime, we're waiting for the press briefing to let us know. Hopefully, by God's special grace, he'll be, he'll be strong enough for the match. But I'm going to put that in prayer. And secondly, we heard that South Africa performed very well. Like their keeper was very strong. So... 
that's their strength. So we're asking that Lord will help us. To break the strength of so, our so enemies. Yes, break the strength. Weaken him. <laughs> special the of third God. one. There's a third one. The fire of the Holy Ghost protect Nigerians Amen. in South Africa. Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maria. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go doing. on a break. <laughs> when we return, we move on to our hot topic of today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.